Hello friends, this is Alex Miller here with you. A lot of you probably recognize me from my singing uh, and uh, American Idol things as well. But today we're going to do a little stew guitar lesson. And uh, we're going to be learning a song called The Boot Heel Drag. It's an old Bob Will song. If you like uh, me doing these lessons and stuff, I, this is my first one. So we'll see how this goes. If y'all like them, hit the like down there and uh, I'll do some more of them. And if not, then I'll get the hint. But uh, I'm going to teach you how to play an old song called The Boot Heel Drag. And for those of you trying to get into lap steel, this is a good one to uh, kind of test your abilities a little bit here. This is not a basic tune. This is one for your intermediate player, I would say. And uh, it uses eight strings. If you have an eight string lap steel, this is a perfect lesson for you. And if you have a six string, you can do the song as well. It's just not as easy. And I can show you kind of both ways. But today we're gonna start on this Fender lap steel. Let me turn you around so you can see the steel guitar. All right, so here's how we're gonna play the boot heel drag. First off, you gotta know what key you're in. So we're in the tuning of E. Here's how you tune your strings. It'll be E, C sharp, B, A flat, D, F sharp, A flat, E. Kind of a weird tuning, you know, for guitar players, y'all might go, what in the world? But it's a E 13th tuning by Leon McAuliffe is the guy that kind of started that tuning. And uh, it's a lot of that Western swing stuff's out of it. And that's why it works really well for this song. Uh, it's also a good blues tuning, you know. Do that kind of stuff with it. But today we're gonna to be learning the boot heel drag, which takes a lot of those Western swing elements and is a great combination of that and blues and uh, will give you a, a really cool tone. And uh, so we're gonna be using this low string and these, these strings up here mostly. So it'll be, your grips will be like this. So you'll take your middle finger, put it on the first string like this. Put your uh, pointer finger on the second string like that and then your thumb or your with your thumb or your thumb pick like this so that's your grip and that's a lot of your steel guitar grips you can do the grips like that and even but you want to kind of keep it there so for this song we're in the key of a so what we're going to do it's uh the song goes like this let me play you the song first Pretty easy, right? It's just an A chord, uh, goes to your four and then your five. Do, 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 do. So here we go. So the easiest way to learn this song is um, start with your tuning, like I said, make sure you're in tune and everything's right. So you start playing the song like this. You uh, take your thumb and just do that first. Just see if you can get that lick. If you have an eight string, you can do this with a six string as well. Uh, but uh, eight strings is really what sounds the best with it. But uh, you do like that. Then you use that grip that I was showing you earlier, like this. So you go. All right, if you can get that lick down, you've got pretty much the rest of the song. It's 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 pretty simple. So you're going to go like this. Here's uh here's the first bar of it or so. So it does that twice in the song. So the first part of it is. So if you can get that down, you can get this next part too. So we're going like this. So we're going up here and this is to the D chord. It's two behind the E, which is actually 12th fret. So what we're gonna do is come up here. So you do two of those and then you come up here and go. So there's your lick right there on your D. Then you come back down here to your A and go. That's in. That, that looks complicated, but it's really not. So what you do is you go. Go like this. You go. I'll do it really slow so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing there. Mm -hmm. 
So what I'm doing is I'm going up to the what's called a minor third. But it's actually a C chord. Uh, so you go like this. Let me do it for you again. To finish out the song, you do this right here. You go. One more time, that way y'all can see it. That might have been a little too fast for you. Let's slow it down here and get a good look at it. So you come up here to your A, and you do this right here. Take your grip, like I showed you. If you can get that right there, you got some country swing all the way there. I've tried to slow things down for y'all so you can kind of see what I'm doing there. Here's the whole song again. So if you can get all them licks that I was playing in there, then you've got the boot heel drag. Here we go. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on the steel guitar. If you did, make sure to hit that uh, subscribe button here, and I'll do some more of these. But uh, um, hopefully, that hopefully that teaches you how to play the boot heel drag, and maybe some country guitar licks that you can use on down the road in your steel guitar future. But uh, uh, this is Alex Miller saying thank you so much for being a subscriber and uh, uh, follow me here on YouTube. And uh, for all my follow people that follow me on my singing, I appreciate that as well. Thank you for streaming my Spotify. Like I said, drop me a comment of some songs you might like for me to try to play on this thing, and I'll see what I can do. But happy, happy steel guitar picking to y'all.